light. Without it, we're all in the dark. Over half a billion people in Africa don't have adequate access to light and energy. This means that when the sun sets, life stops. Kerosene is pretty horrible. People breathe it in and it leads to many deaths. In addition, it's very expensive. Let me tell you a story. I live in Tanzania and one day the power was out. Come a Kauai back, like always. And I scanned job, I was hungry. So, got my lamp, so I didn't fall into any holes. And I was walking to the Duca to get some food. On the way, I saw Mama and I said, Shikoma Bariyaku, what does it do? Did you, know, did you do well? And she was selling peanuts. I said, Mama, come son, no. Lakini, but she was using a kerosene lamp. And I said, great, cool, let me check it out. And she said, I want to see your solar lamp. I said, Kari. She liked it, okay, looked at it. And she said, I want to buy it. I said, about $20. She said, ah. So, she couldn't afford it. But, the vast majority of people cannot afford solar. That's why there's an untapped market of over half a billion people in Africa. So expensive, we know that. How do we know that? We did it. We sold 2,000 lamps in Tanzania. Unfortunately, the people that actually need these solar lamps are the ones that can't afford it. They can't buy it. They can't spend the upfront cost for a solar lantern. That led us to develop this. The Kedipu Solar Power Modular Solar Lamp. By splitting up the components of the solar lamp, we split up the payments for the end consumer, thus making it affordable at what they currently pay for kerosene. This is the solar panel portion, as you can see. Here is the battery pack portion here, with the LED included. And here's the illuminator, the light diffuser portion. It's very simple, it works like this. We sell one of these to a Duca. All these pieces included with an extra battery. Okay? The Duca then sells this portion to a consumer for about three dollars. About what they would pay for a kerosene lantern. Okay? They go home, they use it, put on Wanga, Pia, Wanda Wesu, Jajisim. They can charge their phones from this. They use it. And they say, okay, well, it's out of battery, what do I do? They go back to the Duca, and the Duca swaps out the full battery for the empty one. And they pay 30 cents. What they would otherwise pay for kerosene. So the cash flow is $3 up front, then 3, 30 cents every day. Exactly replicating the kerosene spend. We've now made solar affordable at the same price point as the deadly alternative kerosene. We've proven the market, we've proven our product. All we require is the plastic molding to mass produce these and ship them to Tanzania. We require $150,000 to do this. We've already secured $25,000 of which. We've got a pretty big opportunity here. Half a billion people, 500 million people. In addition, the number of people who will not have access to light energy in the next few years, it's not going to decrease. That number is going to increase over the next 20, 30, 40 years. The market potential is immense. The social impact is undeniable. And for the Duca, they make a lot of money in the, in the meantime. This means that we can actually welcome Africa to affordable solar in a profitable way that helps at everybody. Help us welcome Africa to affordable solar. Cutting solar property.